Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use quick edit in a SharePoint list. We're here in our employee list on our HR team site. And you see here at the top, we have a big button that says quick edit. What does that mean? What does that do? What can that do for us? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to click on that quick edit. And it's going to take a little bit of time for it to do its thing. Oh, that was pretty fast. But see, look what happened. Now our list really looks like an Excel workbook, doesn't it? And you see, first thing you notice when you scroll down is it's only showing us 30 records. And we have an arrow, so we would have to click and get to the next page. But that's okay. You can change that in the settings. But for now, this is fine. Now, when we have this, the entire list is open for editing. Let's go ahead and let's say that, uh, let's find somebody. Let's say that Frank is no longer a cashier. He has gone ahead and joined the customer service department. So I am going to simply type in here. And when I hit enter, the change has been made. And if I look and say, oh, look at that. I made a mistake. I did want to capitalize that. Of course, I can go back in. I don't have to open this record and change it. This is a great thing if you have to do a lot of changes at the same time. And just like Excel, you can do things like autofill. So let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just, I'm using my delete key in case you didn't realize that. I'm going to delete a bunch of these location numbers. They're all the same. And watch what happens. I'm going to go to the top one. I'm going to grab my little fill handle here. You see this little square in the lower right corner. And when I get my mouse pointer up there so it looks like that crosshair hold down my left mouse button and drag down look at that just like you can do in excel so this is a great way to work with a list if you have to make a lot of changes we scroll down to the bottom and we even see a blank row this is going to give us a place to go ahead and add an another record in my case, I am going to add a record for Gary Colson, who actually doesn't exist as an employee right now because he's not on our official employee list. Well, I took care of that. Notice with dates, I even have a calendar picker, which I could choose, but, well, what the heck. Let's say that Gary just started a few weeks ago. He's in HR, and let's give him a number. Put him in the same area, and we'll give Gary, let's give Gary $32 an hour, whatever. And when you're done editing, all you have to do is click on Exit Quick Edit. All your changes have been saved, and your list is back to normal. Pretty cool. I like Quick Edit. It's a really, really nice feature. Again, like I said, if you've got to make a lot of changes to a list, just open it up with Quick Edit and have at it. So now you know how to use Quick Edit in a SharePoint list. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.